hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel this is introduction video on site core let's begin before starting the video let me give you a quick introduction about myself my name is sumup kudu i am site core developer i have 3 plus years of industry experience working with site core and dot net technologies site core versions which i have worked are on 9.3 and 10.2 reason for creating the, this youtube channel is to share my technical knowledge with all of you it will be helpful for you in your site core journey you can reach me out at the below links i will also add this links in the description these are the topics that we are going to cover in this video what is cms different types of cms different types of dot net cms features that cms provide introduction to site core history of the site core features advantages and disadvantages of site core what is cms cms is content management system as the name suggests it is system used to manage the content cms provide capability to manage the content without help of developers or technical person whenever content author needs to modify the content he or she will go to cms and directly update that these are some examples of different types of cms wordpress joomla shopify optimizely hubspot so these are the examples of dotnet cms umreco sitecore mojo portal sitefinity kentico so mostly we will be dealing with site core here features of cms so these are some of the features provided in the cms publishing control whenever content author wants to publish the content to live site they will first create the content in draft state preview that content we'll see how that will look after everything is okay they will publish that content so this publishing feature is provided in the cms built in seo tools search engine optimization tools they will help to improve the quality and quantity of website traffic to website or web pages from search engine robust integration so yeah so cms will have plugins that we can install and work with so integration with different tools becomes easy detailed analytics all the detailed analytical part you which user is visiting which pages frequently all the stuff will be present in this analytic part so those will be provided in the those these are the features provided in the cms pre-made templates there will be some pre-made templates available from there we can build our website so we don't need to work from scratch on creating the structure or we can say creating the site so those pre-made templates will be helpful for us support CMS provides support so 24 by 7 some of the CMS provide support so that would also be helpful if there are any issues related to the CMS migration is also a feature that is provided in migration we can basically migrate the content from one environment to other another so that is a useful feature version control feature is also present in CMS so we can have different version of content present there and we can navigate to that content easily multilingual content if we want to display some different content for different countries that also becomes easy with the feature that is provided here of multilingual content what is sitecore sitecore is a leading digital experience platform built on dotnet technology it is enterprise level cms we can say it's combination of both experience cms and experience marketing experience cms generally consists of managing the content access management workflow and experience marketing is like analytics personalization and all the stuff so on higher level we can say the combination of both experience cms with marketing and all its features history of site core so sitecore was created in 2001 till then it has released several versions of sitecore from 2007 it is having 5 subsequently it has released versions from 6 7 8 9 10 10 currently the latest version that sitecore is having is 10.3 these are some of the features that sitecore provide content management we can create edit post and manage the web content easily with the help of sitecore presentation cms automate the presentation to suit different devices like for tablet there will be 
different view or we'll get a different content for phone there will be different content for laptops or PCs the content displayed will be different integration it relies on APS to connect with other applications like CRM and ERP tool or any other external platforms personalization it targets content to unique visitors by personal location or even individually based on past interaction with brand so generally personalization is for every visitor or every user it will display content as per his needs or however or the way he has visited the site or way he is interested in analytics it demands visibility into performance so you can optimize the efforts and define ROI analytical part is also provided and a good feature that is present inside code governance it allows who can approve change or publish the content so those control provides so this control is provided in the site code scalability performance stability multilingual support it translates the content into different languages and publishes things globally for different countries we want different versions or we want different content to be displayed then that would be also handled in the site code training vendor support it provides support to teams to resolve the issues related to site code if there are any issues in the system or CMS so we can basically contact to site core and they will help us resolve that advantages and disadvantages of site core yeah we'll go with advantages capability and functionality so site core provides uh, different types of features that it has from producing editing the content publishing the content headless content delivery campaign design route analysis sophisticated commerce storefront all those capabilities are basically present in the site code flexibility so developers may alter any classes there rewrite how default feature works can or add their custom components and add custom features there export different types of reports so these facilities are provided in site code scalability because of properly scalable data storage developers have unlimited chances to increase performance increase their flexibility they may scale vertically or horizontally as per their requirements security site core has security features built in the site code security model enables you to grant or deny access to almost every aspect of the website making it very much secure deployment choices companies generally select either on-premise or cloud deployments based on their needs so those features are provided here in, in this deployment choices in the site code okay, so these are the advantages now let's move on to disadvantages high cost so cost of licensing for the site core is pretty high so generally mid-size company or large size company prefer to use this site core CMS additional expense for the support so if you want to take a higher end of support like premium membership there the additional cost will be required so there are different types of support that they provide generally based on that costing also increases transitioning process so the transitioning or you can say the learning curve for this site core is uh, you can say pretty high compared to the normal dotnet developers okay so you will be not easy to be transitioning from this dotnet to site code availability of developers there are less number of developers available for the site core compared to the dotnet so developers yeah so availability of the developers is also very less here that's it for this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next video